Hi, James from England. How are you? My friend Ezekiel wants to go on vacation. Where on vacation? Well, he wants to go south. I'm sure you know south. I mean, I live here in the north, North America, Canada. He wants to go south to Mexico. But he doesn't want to just go south. That's a direction. He wants to go to the southern part of Mexico. Today's lesson is on direction. We're going to talk about the directions from the direction arrows, and then we're going to talk about the word ward and how we can move around using ward. All right? You ready? Let's get started. So, here is home in the north. All right? He wants to go south. So we can travel south and use south for traveling. I'm going south. But what happens if you want to live, if you live or want to go to a place in the bottom part? Now you can't say South Mexico. There's no such thing as South Mexico. So what we say instead is, I want to go to the southern. Part. Now the southern part means the most south part, southern. Okay? So you're going to go, okay, well, what happens if when Ezekiel has finished the vacation down here, he wants to go back up home? And he lives, believe it or not, it's a worm in the cold in the Arctic. Tundra. We'll do that later on about geographic areas. But he lives up here. Ezekiel, Mr. E, lives here. Well, he lives in the northern part. It means most northern part, most north. Okay, so if you're following, you think, hey, if I live here in America, I live in the southern part. Yes, in the United States of America, this is the southern. This would be the northern part. And if we're looking at the world, there's the north and the south. And if you live in the northern part of the world, you might live in the top of Europe. Um, or in the southern, we have like Antarctica, South America. We have Brazil. Um, not Brazil, Ecuador, but we have Brazil, Chile. Uh, Uruguay, okay, they're in the southern part of the world. Cool? All right. Now, this is kind of easy. So, let me, let me get rid of this. Sorry, Ezekiel. You still can go on vacation, okay? He's got his hat on. He's getting ready. Indiana Jones worm. Yeah. He likes, you know. Anyway. <clears throat> so, we've got the four parts, okay? So, when you usually have directions, you have the north, okay? The south. Okay, the east and the west. Okay? Now, when I was a little boy, I used to get confused all the time, so I remember this. North, easy. South, because that's top and bottom. Then I would say we. North, we, south. Okay? I know you're not five, but just in case, north, we, south, and that's always the right direction. Okay? We. We. Fun. Anyway, moving on. So, now remember, we said northern, okay, we did southern, let's have some fun boys and girls, we added ERN to talk about most top, most bottom, right, top, bottom. What do you think we put if we went to the east, all the way to the east, like Russia and Mongolia, I, 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 anyway, we'd say the eastern part of the world, eastern. And I'm guessing you can, you know, I'll give you five seconds. I'm going to erase this and try and guess. What word would this be? West would be, yes, close, western. Bum, ba, -dum, bum, bum, ba, -dum, bum, -dum. So, whoop, ah. Sorry, that went downward. That's the next lesson. Ward, watch. Okay, pen. So, north, south, east, west. Northern, Southern, Eastern, Western. I have a problem for you. And you were very, very smart, right? Okay. So, you're going to help me solve this problem. Here's the North. Here's the East. Ezekiel has to get somewhere. And it's right here. Not quite North. Not quite East. Ouch, I hate that sound. Okay? It's in between the two. Well, what would you call in between that two? 
Hmm. Well, here's the thing. We North Americans, or people of the North, and that would be people from England, uh, France, Germany, America, United States of America, Canadians get upset with that, Canadians, and Mexico, you're part of North America, okay, we are very arrogant, we feel we're the best. Because of that, the two most dominant sign, uh, directions are north and south. You are either from the north or you're from the south. Okay? So, I'm explaining this for a reason. When we do directions that are in between the north and the east, you can only say it one way. If you say it another way, you'll actually confuse us. Make us crazy. I'll give you an example. If you're in between the north and the east, we call it... The north part is the dominant part. You cannot say east-northern. Just try it. Seriously. Go outside right now, find an English person, go, I need to go east-northern of here. They will look at you, look to the sky, give you a dollar and say, go see a doctor and walk away. They won't understand you. They'll go, east-northern. Are you crazy? You need to see a doctor. Okay? It's the northeastern, because remember what I said? These are the most dominant things to us because we divide the world into the north and the south. So you always have to say the north or the south first, then the second part. So if you want to go here, you're going northeastern direction. Not quite north, not quite east, in between. Good? So Ezekiel? He's giving you a thumbs up. He's going, good for you. That's the first one. All right. Do, 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 do. What happens if you're going this way? Yeah, that's right. You're going to say north. Remember what we talked about? Western. In the northwestern part of Canada, that would go north and go west a bit. It can be very, very cold. Okay? I'm going to put these two up at the same time because you're such a smart people. Oops, sorry. I'm betting you'll get it right away. If you look here, this is the south, this is the west, and this is the east. All right? So it's going to be what? Tell me which one is right. Okay? Or, this is one, this is two. Okay, which one would be right? Which do you think? Take a second, think about it. Talk to a friend. You have three lifelines, you know that game, Millionaire? Call a friend. 50-50. Alright, you don't need any of those. Obviously this is wrong. Once again, the rule, north-south comes first. So southeastern, and this one has to be southwestern. Okay, get the board. The terrible wind's in here. See? You come here for free and look at all the work I do for you under these conditions, huh? Ah, southwestern winds are blowing me away! <laughs> Actually, they're warm because it's coming from the south. Okay, so this would be for southeastern, southwestern. Cool? All right. Ezekiel's going, cool. Now, what about my vacation? Uh, I was going to say a bad word, but I'm not allowed to. Um, <laughs> Kid-friendly show here. Kid-friendly. All right. So we've done the directions. Hopefully that will help you. Here's one that's unusual. Ezekiel doesn't like when I do this one. See? Ezekiel, he's like... Ezekiel, he's saying, that may be right, Ezekiel, but I'm going to use it anyway. <laughs> Whatever. Get that smile off your face there. He's, smiling, he's happy again. There. All right, so. You're downtown. Chicago, New York, Toronto, T dot, um, <laughs> and you're standing here. Here you are. You just got your hair cut. You look good. All right. There you go. Now, if you go this way, that's easy. I'm sure you've done this in preposition class. This is across. If you go this way, you're going across the road, right? Any way you do, this is across. This is across. This is across. 
That was easy, right? But what happens if, this is special boys and girls, the red marker, you need to go this way. Dun, 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 dun. Well, you wouldn't really say across because it's not across, right? Across is usually directly in front of you. So look across, look across. But when it's on what we call an angle, which is not straight, right? When it's on an angle, remember we did the arrows? Well, this is an angle, this here. What do we call that? Well, if you're crossing, we usually say, kitty corner, it's kitty corner. Yes, I know. You'll probably say that many a Canadian American go, kitty quarter. Do you mean on a diagonal? That's what it means, okay? So it means to go across on an angle, not directly across. See, Ezekiel still thumbs up. Not so happy, but that's okay. We have to, oh, it's right here. Move on. Now, I gave you ward. No, nope, sorry, I gave you one before, remember? It went, it went downward. Okay. So, what does ward mean? Ward. When I dropped the pen, see, you think you're going to drop the pen now? Dropping the pen, it went downward. Downward, yeah? Now, Ezekiel, I'm looking up here, and this is, let's do, oops. Okay, do, 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 It's called musical interlude to keep you entertained while I draw very, very slowly. Do, 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 There you go. Ezekiel looked skyward as his pen dropped downward. Mm. He looks skyward. Look up. Drops pen downward. Pen go down. I think this thing ward, I could be wrong, but I think ward means direction. Because when the pen is falling, the direction is down. When he looked up, it was to the sky, which is up, direction up. Ward means direction. Luckily for you, there's only a few words that use ward, so we're going to do most of them right now, okay? And hopefully teach you very quickly about, because once again, it's in the direction category, right? So, here we go. We did downwards, you know downward? Arrow is going to go down, easy. So opposite downward is this way. In fact, you know, let's do the arrows a little in color to make it easy for you. Okay, so there you go. Down, up. Okay. Now here's the deal. When you have down and up, here. What did you do? Oh, I'm that down up. What's next one we're going to do? Well, look. We did those are opposites, right? How about we go down, up. How about out? Okay. And then we could do in, inward. Okay. Um, wait, 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 wait. And then we've got... Uh, Basic words for reward. There's not many. There's not many in the in the, in the dictionary because of ward adding on. So you've got most of them here. Here's the arrows to show you where. Outward. That's going to mean away from you. If you move outward, it's going to go outside, away from you. Inward. Towards you. But that means going inside of you. Inside of you. Okay. Skyward. Look up to the sky. Okay. Forward. This one's easy. Think front 
front. So it means this way. Okay? But let, I'm going to do something a little different with this one, so pay attention. Okay? Okay. When we talk about forward, imagine this is you. This is you going, and this is your eyes. Here's your hair once again. You're going to go this way. Okay? So you're walking this way. You're looking this way. Backward is interesting. Backward is, here's you, okay, walking this way, like Frankenstein. Oh, uh, uh. all right. Here's you. But even though you're looking this way, you actually move that way. Okay? So you're looking this way, but you move this way. All right? That means your back, your back goes first. Okay? So this way. Now, finally, we have toward. Toward just means... Right? Going to something. When you move towards something, it means you're moving to something. Like here's a door this way, right? If I go this way, I move to the door. That's what it means, literally, move to. Okay? I'm going toward the camera, I'm moving toward the camera. Okay? Even if I walk backwards, remember we said backwards is your back? I can say I'm walking toward the wall. Why? Because that's the direction I'm going. So two is a really interesting one because it means you're going to something and it tells you exactly where you're going. Backward, your back goes first. Forward, for front, front goes first. Skyward, towards the sky. Inward, goes inside. Outward, goes away from you. Right? Upward, up and downward. Cool? You like? I hope you do. Because I look forward to seeing you again. Done the video for now for direction. Please try and remember them. And here's what we're going to do. Go to Ingvid because we're going to have a little quiz on where the directions will go, right? And if it's south, north, east, and then you can maybe have a quiz on where did Ezekiel want to go on vacation? Hmm? Was it the southern part or the northern part of Italy, France, or Mexico? All right. So please go to, you know our favorite part, right? Here we go. He's going to give it a thumbs up because he loves this place. If he was going to take a vacation, I'm sure Ezekiel will go here and stay here forever. See? Thumbs up on the www dot what ing as in English vid as in video dot com where you find myself and other teachers who will be happy to teach you. See, look. He's been to the southern states right now. It's like right on. All right. See you then. Ciao. You're gonna come back, right? Not backward.